Hey, my name is Vinny Mono. I'm a professional photographer, filmmaker, video strategist, and educator. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to host a photo walk. There's five things I wanna talk about. Number one, let's talk about the title of your photo walk. In my Airbnb experiences, my photo walk um, title is Photo Walk, Take Better Photos. Super simple, right? The first half is, what is it that I'm teaching? And the second half is, what are you expecting to get out of the, the photo walk? What is it you're expecting to get out of the photo walk? Wow, I jumbled a little bit. So when you're thinking about titling your photo walk, think about what people are gonna see and what people are gonna get excited about. I always say this, that curiosity creates excitement and curiosity leads to innovation. And so think about the last event that you attended. Maybe it was virtual, maybe it was in person. What was the title of it? Did it interest you enough for you to hit submit? Did it interest you enough for you to call someone and be like, hey, I wanna be part of this. So think about your title. It's really important that your title creates that curiosity. Number two, how to organize your photo walk. So this is where I kind of B, I kind of break it down to A and B. A is location. Your location can make or break your photo walk. And so choose a location that people are going to be excited to explore. It doesn't matter if you're in the suburbs, at a park, or in the city. Just choose a place that you know people are going to be excited to go to. And if it's a local, if it's locals that have been to the place before and they want to see a different perspective, right? You have to bring that. You have to bring that and let them know that, hey, maybe you've seen this place a million, million times, maybe you walked on the same street, but guess what? Let me show you what a photographer sees. Like that, that's captivating enough. And then, so the B part is, how far are you walking around the sections that you have selected for your photo walk? For me, I do a lot of my photo walks in Washington, DC, and we walk a couple blocks, but we always start Wherever we start, that's where we end. That way, in each section, I have determined that I'm gonna teach for talk, I'm gonna teach portraits, I'm gonna teach landscape, I'm gonna teach some micro photography, I'm also gonna teach street photography. Number three, what are you taking photos with? So before I host all my photo walks, what I do is I make sure that people that have signed up for the photo walk, that I get a feedback of what type of camera they're bringing what type of photos like to take, that way I know what to bring on site. And if you don't have a, if you don't have a professional camera, it's totally fine because guess what? A lot of people that do photo walks or take photo walk classes, they don't really have the highest camera. They don't even have the highest expensive camera. So most of the time I have a SLR that I bring with me and also my tablet and my phone because I know that that's what people will more likely be bringing in my photo walks. If I was doing a photo walk that was focused on working with other professionals, then I'll bring up my professional cameras, from my Sonys to Canons, even Nikons. Um, it's really important that when me as a teacher, when I show up in front of my, my class, that I have the gear to visually show people how they can master their own camera and also how to take that perspective. Number four, what is the length of the photo walk? Most of the time, my photo walk is about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes. And so what I like to do is I, in every single section that I have planted out within the map, I spend about 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes there. Because I know it's really important that, going back to data, right? Going back to people that have signed up for my class, I know exactly what they want to learn and what they're excited taking photos of. So I spent a lot of time with them, teaching them how they can master their own own camera. If it's even if it's a phone or a DSLR or SLR, I teach them that in those spots, and then they get excited, they get interested, they ask questions, and then 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 we have a good class. So as a teacher. My main goal is to help the students see, understand, and think about their own perspective of the world so that way they can have a better connection 
not only with the photos they're taking, but their surroundings. Because it's one thing to be in a space and just kind of drift and go, to the, go from point A to point B. But it's another thing is to observe and be connected and see how everything is connected, connected around you and how photography can capture that connection. You know, life is constantly happening around us. What I like to say a lot within my photo walks is that there's always a movie picturistic moment happening around us. It takes us as a photographer to capture those moments, to freeze those moments, because those moments remind us of our existence and those moments cannot be duplicated ever again, unless you know we ended up writing a script and brought a whole entire crew and setting up and set up a whole entire um, Hollywood scene to recreate that moment. Number five, how much do I charge? It depends. If I am going to be on site for two hours, I might charge anywhere between 50 to $70. If I am doing the photo walk for say an hour, then I might charge 40 to $50. It's really important that I understand my audience that are traveling around, that are visiting certain areas, and maybe they don't have the money to spend on a two hour session. Maybe they have money to spend on a one hour session. So it's really, really important that I know exactly the, audi the type of audience that I'm wanting to attract. Because if I wanted to do a photo walk session that costs $100, then I know my audience is a little bit is in the tier where people are actually investing in their, in their gear and their equipment because they want to get the highest quality out of their gear. All right, so that is, my session thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one